Hello everyone, welcome to Infigyan. In this very exciting video of exponential equations, we will be solving square root 36 minus square root 20 whole power x over 2 equal to x. While solving this problem, I will use exponent exponent properties. I will use graph also and conclude our result. I am writing this given LHS as I can write actually root 36 minus square root 20 whole square root I can write and then I can write whole power x equal to x by the property of exponent a power see it is like that a power b times suppose it is c so I am writing a power c times b then I am writing a power c whole power b. This is what I have done here. Okay. So, x by 2. So, 2 will be as a square root. Now, I will resolve this left, left hand side. Square root 36 minus square root 20. How it can be resolved? See, it is square root. So, I will write root 36 is 6. Root 20 is 4 times 5 to root 5. Okay. Now I will split. I will split this 6 as 5 plus 1 minus 2 root 5 as it is unchanged. Now I will consider 5 as root 5 whole square plus 1 whole square minus 2 times root 5 times 1. What I am trying to do here actually, see I am forming a square plus b square minus 2ab and then I will write a minus b whole square. This is what I have done. Now you can write simply this is root 5 minus 1 whole square. So square root and square will get over, will get cancelled, will have root 5 minus 1. So this looks like biggie problem means left hand side that is converted into now root 5 minus 1 whole power x equal to x. Okay. Now let's conclude this. How we can conclude how many solutions are there? So, left hand side we are having exponential. No doubt about that. It would be like that. y equal to x line. Let me change this. Okay y equal to x line. So, what are the possibilities? See, if y equal to x like that, two solution. y equal to x like that, let me write here two. Here we will have one if it is touching and passing and if it is not touching and passing, y equal to x is like that, zero solution. So, our solution would be in between zero to two. Either 0, no solution or 1 or 2, maximum 2. So, let's find out how many solutions are there. So, I will consider this one as root 5 minus 1 as C, I am changing its base. Let me, okay. So, how I can change root 5 minus 1? So, I can write e raised to the power ln root 5 minus 1. Root 5 minus 1 base has been changed now by the property x is equal to e raised to the power ln x. Okay, x is also there. So, let me write directly here equal to x. Okay, now I will take this term to the right. So, it will come out x times e raised to the power minus x ln root 5 minus 1 equal to 1. Done. Now, next step I will consider 
see its exponent is negative x ln root 5 minus 1 here only x so what is missing i will multiply by that so minus ln root 5 minus 1 so similarly i need to multiply in the rhs also root 5 minus 1 okay so left hand side now let me write one time minus x ln root 5 minus 1 times e raised to the power minus x ln root 5 minus 1 equal to minus ln root 5 minus 1. Now you can easily see whatever is written here as a coefficient that is same as as an exponent. So now I can directly write minus x ln root 5 minus 1. So I need to take lambda w function of RHS. It would be come out like this. Now x value would be minus lambda w function of negative ln root 5 minus 1 over minus already consumed so I would write root 5 minus 1 done now if I will use tool Wolfram alpha then I will have this value as 1.324 okay this value will come out 1.324 and if I have to up find out from the second branch then this is w0 if I will find out from w of minus 1 then I will get root 5 minus 1 over root 5 ln of minus 1 and this value is coming out 11.541 See both of the roots are coming from two branches w0 and w-1. So that value is 1.324. So that means two solutions are there. Graph would be, line would be like this. Let's see the graph also. See, this is the graph of root 5 minus 1 power x. And blue color is y equal to x. There are two intersection points because line and exponential function intersecting it is not touching it is intersecting each other so that means two solution must be there the maximum solution would be two so this is how we will attempt this problem i hope you like this video thank you so much for watching do not forget to like share and subscribe thank you so much till next video bye bye